In this question, we're told that these three vectors are coplanar, and we need to state conditions on A and B for which that's true, and then state three sets of values for A and B for which that's true. Well, the way we're going to go about doing this is to simply let the, this vector be a linear combination of the other two vectors. So we can say that uh, AB5 is a linear combination of 6, negative 1, 2, and negative 2, 2, 1. Well, um, the first, the x components tell us a is 6m minus 2n, and b is negative m plus 2n, and it tells us that 5 is 2m plus n. Well, what we've got here are three equations and four unknowns. This equation has three unknowns, this equation has three unknowns, this equation only has two, so I'm going to focus on this. Using a little bit of rearranging, I see that from this last equation, n is 5 minus 2m. What I can then do is go back to the first equation and say a must be 6m minus 2 times 5 minus 2m. Since n is 5 minus 2m, I plug it in here which means a is 6m minus 10 plus 4m, which means a is 10m minus 10. So that is one of my, um, that's what a has to equal. Then I can then go back and determine what b equals. b has to be negative m plus 2 times n, but n is 5 minus 2m. So b must be negative m plus 10 minus 4m, which is negative 5m plus 10. So I have a condition on what a must equal and a condition on what b must equal. At this point, I can then sub in different values for m. I can say, um, letting m be 0, I can say a is 10 times 0 minus 10, and b is negative 5 times 0 plus 10. So a would be negative 10 and b would be positive 10. If m is 1, I can say that a would have to be 10 times 1 minus 10, which is 0, and b would be negative 5 times 1 plus 10, which is 5. If m is 2, I can say that a is 10 times 2 minus 10, which is 10, and b is negative 5 times 2 plus 10, which is 0. So it's possible that a is negative 10 and b is 10, it's possible that a is 0 and b is 5. It's also possible that a is 0 and b is 0. Now, if you didn't know this method, this method is called the parameter method, you could still do this question by using uh, a table of values. Once you realize that you've got n equaling 5 minus 2m, uh, one approach to doing this is to let m be a... Uh, let m be a non-zero scalar. Once you realize that you've got four, four variables and only three equations to do it with, you realize that you're going to have to assign values to one of the variables. So what you could do is say to yourself, um, let's let m have the value of zero. Suppose m equals zero. If m equals zero, then n must be 5 minus 0, n must be 5. If m is 0, then n is 5 minus 0, which is 5. So these two values go together. Well, if those two values go together, then a is going to be 6 times 0 minus 2 times 5. So a would be 6 times 0 minus 2 times 5, which is negative 10 and b would be negative 0 plus 2 times n, so negative 0 plus 2 times 5, which is positive 10. So if a is negative 10, b has to be positive 10. And look, that's one of the ones that we came up with. Okay, now what if, uh, so this is one possible pairing for the values of a and b. What if we said instead of m being 0, suppose we said let m equal 1. If m is equal to 1, again, remember we're assigning values to one of the variables so that we can solve for the other three. If we do that, if we say let m equal 1, 
then that would mean that n would have to be 5 minus 2 times 1, which is 3. So n would be 3. If we let n equal 3, we can go back up and solve for a and b. a would be 6 times 1, which is 6, minus 2 times 3, 6 minus 6 is 0, so a would be 0, and b would be negative 1 plus 2 times n, so negative 1 plus 2 times 3 would be negative 1 plus 6 would be 5. So if a is 0, b is 5. And that's what we said. Okay? And similarly, if we said let, um, we let m be 0 and we let m be 1, what if we said let m be 2? Sorry, I'm jumping all over here. But if I said let m be 2, then that would mean that n, coming back up to this equation, m is 2, n is 5 minus 2 times 2, 5 minus 4 is 1. If m is 2 and n is 1, we can solve for a. a would be 6 times 2 minus 2 times 2, which means a would be positive 10. b would be negative 2 plus 2 times 2, or, sorry, negative 2 plus 2 times 1. m is 2 and n is 1, so b would be negative 2 plus 2 times 1, so uh, b would be 0. So three different possibilities for pairings are a is negative 10, b is positive 10, a is 0, b is 5, and a is 10 and b is 0. And that's exactly what we got when we used this other method.